Hello folks. I hope that you're having just a great, great day today. Today I want to take a look at The Dweller in the Temple by Manly Way Wellman. It was published in 1977 in a collection called Swords Against Darkness 2. Um, all the, this is going to be a Cardios of Atlantis story that features him, a character that was created by Manly Way Wellman um, in the late 70s. There are several different short stories that are in that collection. Um, they're all compiled in this Heroes of Atlantis in Lemuria collection uh, that features uh, several different writers who wrote during the pulp era or later on uh, that were that were set in either in Lemuria Mary or Atlantis. Now, Cardios is a little bit different as a character, which I like. Um, Meaning the woman's idea with this character is not to have him set on Atlantis running around doing adventures, but rather he's the last Atlantean. Um, he awakes on the shore of a, of a far-flung world having Atlantis died, and now he's the last person uh, from Atlantis, which makes him, I think, a little bit more interesting as a character, more approachable, more 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 interesting. Um, we'll also find out during the first story, um, Straggler from Atlantis, that this one's a sequel to, um, that um, he was also partially the cause for the sinking of Atlantis. There was a prophecy that said that if the queen was ever kissed, uh, Atlantis would fall in sync. Um, the queen didn't believe these old prophecies, so she commanded this uh, courtier who was a harpist and a swordsman named Cardios to kiss her. He was not going to reject uh, the queen's command, and also she was an attractive woman, so he's like, two reasons for him to do it. He does it, and so Atlantis sinks. And that's how the story's going on. Now, so, so we're going to be opening up with The Dweller in a Temple, which in my collection is 25 pages long. I'll link you to this collection online. I'll also link you in the comments below to my review of The Straggler of Atlantis. In case you haven't re reviewed it or you want to get caught up with it, I'll be happy to do that with you too. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at The Dweller in the Temple, which is 25 pages in my collection. Published in 19, it was published in 1977. So in this short story, we're going to open up. Um, we're going to be opening up with, with our main character journeying in a far-flung land um, that he's arrived at. Uh, uh, very shortly afterwards, he's going to he's going to set up. He's going to he's going to actually perform a song with his harp uh, that he has recently written. And there are going to be some listeners that he didn't know about um, who are going to approach him um, and are going to want to offer to take him to his city. Um, now, not their city or a nearby city, but as a thanks for the song and listening it and they liked it, they want to take him to, to his city. Which made me, as a reader, think that they thought that he was just from that city because he's a human. Uh, but we'll find out um, as they come to the city uh, and they approach the city that they are actually a part of it too. Um, and they will be talking with one of their folks uh, about the dweller of the temple um, and who is, lives in the, in the city. And that he is actually, it's actually his city because he's the king of this city. Um, so we're going to find out that he's actually been the promised one who is going to be the, the king of this city that he is going to be brought into. And so we're going to be introducing him. We're going to find out that the dweller in the temple um, and the last king sort of announced that he was going to be the next one. And had some various things in their prophecy. Uh, and then we're going to set up shop. And then for the next few pages, we're going to get used to what it's like to be king in this city that Cardios is in. And we're going to find out a few things about the city, a few things about what's going on, and that sort of a thing. So about five or six pages into the story, you'll be very comfortable with the idea of King Cardios, what's happening, what are the things that he's required to do, and other sorts of things. Um, I do like this story because it does an inverse of what you might normally expect of a, of a sort of a chosen one from the outside. Um, so you're from the outside, kind of a kind of a concept. It, it does it. I think it flips it. I think in a very funny way. Uh, and I think that manly away woman does a very good job with that. Uh, so I do appreciate that there is a, a strong sort of take on that story uh, that I think is very well done. Um, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's very strong, very well done. Um, I do think that sometimes it's not paced as well as it could have been. Uh, I do think it's probably two or three pages too long. Uh, I think it could have probably been a little bit shorter and a little less detail in the city and a little more action I think would have been helpful too. Uh, but overall, I think it's still a very, very, very strong story. Very happy to recommend for you The Dweller in the Temple. And again, Manly Boy Woman does take it in a very interesting direction. So I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read Straggler? Have you have you read any of the Cardius Atlanta stories, including the Dweller in the Temple? I would be happy to engage with it further in the comments below, let you know what what, what you thought, uh, or if you disagreed with anything in my video. More than happy to engage you with it further in the comments as well. If you like this video, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more of these to follow. And finally, hey, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and watching my video.
We all have so many things happening in our lives, right? And we're being pulled in so many different directions right now. So the fact you spent this time with me, wow, that's humbling. I really appreciate it. So thanks again and have a great day.